the Italian authorities say that they will work throughout the night to rescue those still on board the smoldering ferry out there in the Adriatic. At the moment, we think that around 300 people are still on board. A number of women and children were rescued earlier, but those rescue attempts were hampered by strong winds and also by the smoke which was coming up from the car deck of the ferry. That slowed things down. So the authorities, one of their ideas is to try to tow the boat to port, perhaps here to Brindisi, and to continue rescuing those who are struggling to stay warm on board. Let's bear in mind one fact. The fire happened quickly, meaning that people could not go down to where their warm clothes may have been. And that means they've had to stay, taking shelter wherever they can find on the upper deck, in the wind, in the rain, without warm clothes. And those who've had batteries on their mobile phones have been able to phone TV stations or family or friends and talk about their horrific situation. They're desperate and they're freezing and they say they want to be saved. And others are worried about their families being split up. Some have seen wives and daughters be collected, but they remain on board. And of course, those on board and those who've been rescued will ask why this happened. This was meant to be a licensed ferry on a very boring, a very peaceful journey. And now those on board are stranded and they're hoping to be rescued out there on a smouldering ferry.